Amani Channel here. What's going on, folks? Talk a little bit about why you have to have grace and patience with yourself. If you're just starting to make videos, if you want to make really impactful videos to grow your business, if you want to attract leads and clients, but you just haven't really gotten started or you've just been thinking about that video concept, or maybe you've made that first or second video, why do you need to have grace and a little bit of patience? I'm going to first of all share my story real quick. So I know we have some new folks in the group. And as you're checking in, as you're watching this, go ahead and say hey in the comments or, or say replay for watching this on the replay or say live. But if you're just getting started, right? Like when I first started started in my reporting journey, I was a news reporter in a past life and I wasn't, I didn't have the most poise. I didn't have the, I didn't have a, a, a great delivery. I would get very nervous and anxious whenever I started uh, my on-camera journey. And if it was not for the patience of my news director and of the management at the station, I probably wouldn't have lasted as long as I did because I struggled for really about three or four years. And so it can become very frustrating, right? You can put pressure on yourself. And that's kind of what happened with me where I was expecting myself to get better and better. And I really wasn't. And that can kind of cause a, a situation where you're putting added pressure. Then it's going to add to the stress and the anxiety. And it's going to kind of snowball downhill. All right. So it's important to have grace. Why? because none of us are imperfect. And really speaking to a camera is not something that's really natural. It isn't like, it isn't natural in terms of how we communicate. Normally we communicate with person to person. And so, you know, talking to a camera is just like a device, right? And some folks are like, it makes me really anxious or it makes me really nervous or it feels really awkward just to talk to a camera or to a device to that little lens that's right there. Some folks feel awkward just looking at it. Some folks really don't know where to look or they just don't know about the production process. And it is a process to improve and to get better. And so as you're starting your video journey, there's two things you really need to master. The first thing you need to master is your presentation and how to share your story in an effective way that really relates to your audience, that solves a problem for them or helps inspire them, right? And so that's the first part of it. But the second half of it is having the equipment to create the actual content. And so there's really two sides of the equation that you have to learn and master. And you have to be patient because the first, second, third, maybe even the fourth time you start making your videos, you're not going to be, it's not going to be your best performance. All right. I'm just, maybe you are going to have your best performance, but in my opinion, my first performances on camera were pretty much train wrecks. And if you're not a train wreck, kudos to you, but you may have some sort of challenges in terms of your messaging. So that's why you need to have grace with yourself. You need to be patient you need to learn the process. Maybe you need to find a mentor, someone who can coach you along the path. Or we can provide some guidance or some accountability because if you've never made a video before, you may think it's just as simple as turn on your camera and pressing record. And it could be that simple, right? In some cases, that's all I do. I use my smartphone. I'll just turn it on. I'll start talking to the camera, etc. But there's a lot more that goes into it. You have to know who you're talking to. You have to craft that message. You have to think about what you're going to say. Maybe you have to rehearse a little bit. You have to have a process to relax, speak in your authentic voice, share your story in your natural uh, style. And then you also have to be engaging and entertaining, right? There's a lot that goes into it. So there's the equipment, there's the messaging, and then there's the, the poise and there's the making sure you're doing it in an effective way that really relates to your audience. And so as you're getting started, just have a little grace with yourself. Give yourself permission to not be perfect. Give yourself permission to be perfect in your own imperfection. And that will go a long way as you move forward in your video production journey. I just want to go on here really quickly, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that. But remember, you got to have some grace and some patience. That's going to go a long way as you get started in your video journey. All right, I'm on my channel. If you'd like to learn more or you want some personal attention, or you want to find out if, um, you know, you want to get some, uh, find out about my program and how I can help you directly, I would encourage you to use that link, that link, bit.ly slash call fearless and we can set up a 45 minute free video strategy call for you i'll listen to your challenges i'll come up with a strategy that will hopefully get you those fast results because you need to start making videos right i mean just look online now the way we connect with people the way we share our expertise is via video and you need to be making it but remember you got to have a little bit of grace you got to have a little a lot of bit of patience all right but you can do it i believe in you and if i if i could do it Anybody can. I really believe that. All right. So take care. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Peace.